everyone. This is Morgan with AWE. Last week, I showed us how to create a character using the online website sketch.io slash sketchpad. You'll see on my screen here that I've gone ahead and finished my alien creature. This week, what we're going to be doing is using some additional tools in Sketchpad to create a background or a setting for our character. I first, though, want to show you an example of a background that I've created for my alien. I'm going to go over to the left-hand side here. If I click the file folder that says open, I can open additional documents. So I'm going to open up my background example here. So the setting or the background that I created for my alien is actually of outer space and the moon. I want to show you how I use these additional tools in Sketchpad. So I'm going to do that by creating a new document. Remember from last week to create a new document, you click on the plus sign that says new. We're going to keep the formatting exactly the same. Click on blank document and hit the word create. I'm going to go back over to my toolbar here and we'll remember from last week that our calligraphy tool opens up to a draft down with all of my other drawing tools. I definitely encourage you to go ahead and play around with the different tools. Today though, I'm going to be starting with the path tool. This will help us to create some curved lines. When I click on my screen, I'm starting with my starting point for my line. I'm gonna have my line go all the way through my paper to create a horizon line for my moon. If in the middle I can click, I can actually bend that horizon line or that path so that I can create a curve. Then I'm gonna go back to my second point. I'm going to double click so that path is set in place. The next tool that I'm going to be using is a review from last week. That's my pixel fill. So if I click on vector fill, I go down to pixel fill. I can fill in my moon with whatever color I need. I'm going to pick a medium gray, and then I'm going to click on the bottom part of my screen. So my middle ground and my foreground of my background area here. My next step is to create some depth or some interest in my moon. I'm going to do that by creating little craters using my shapes. I'm going to click on the star icon, which will bring a whole drop down in different shapes that I can use. I'm going to use my ellipse shape, also known as our oval. I'm going to check the fill to make sure it's the color that I would like, as well as the outline. I like this nice gradient that's created here with my fill, and I'm going to leave my outline black. All right, I'm going to go ahead. All I need to do is click and drag to make the size of my ellipse bigger or smaller. And if I unclick, that'll set my crater in place. So I'm going to go ahead and add some different size craters here. I'm also choosing to leave a little bit of room in this left area here. That way I can go and I can add my character at a later time. Okay, I'm gonna create a couple more ellipse here. All right. My next step is to fill in my background area here that's above my horizon line. I'm gonna do that again with my pixel fill. This time, however, I'm going to change the color to black. Click on the black and then click on your background area and that'll fill in that entire area above that horizon line. My next step is to add some stars into my background. So I'm gonna click on my shape icon. My ellipse was just used for my craters. However, I would like to use the star. I'm gonna go and check the outline and the fill color. My fill color, I'm going to pick a yellow for my star here. And just like our ellipses that we made, I can make small stars, I can make larger stars, and if I move my mouse around, I can also rotate them as well. going ahead and adding some different size stars to show a little bit of depth in my background area here. 
I encourage you to come up with your own creative background for your character. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to be showing us how to take this document and add our character into this background. All right, I will see you in part two. Bye-bye.